Um, Grant Chaps, let's start at the beginning. Did you make those changes on Wikipedia? Absolutely not. It's the most crazy story I think I've seen during this election campaign. It indicates to me that Ed Miliband and the Labour machine, smear machines, getting pretty desperate. This is based on a single anonymous editor, of which there are thousands or even millions on Wikipedia, uh, who's clearly got together with The Guardian and come up with um, some random story. And on that basis, they've run the story, even though I clearly was not the person making the edits because I was elsewhere at the time. You could have sanctioned them. There could have been a member of staff or somebody in your office that did them wherever you were at the time. Well, just to be absolutely clear, I most certainly did not. Uh, it's nobody that I know or am aware of. The first I heard about it was from um, the newspaper. I made very clear that it couldn't have been uh, me. I'm surprised they've, they've run the story. Look, I think we should be talking about the serious issues in this election. We know that Labour and the SNP could get together in some sort of alliance, hold a ransom note, you know, put up taxes and spending, and weaken our defences. So what do they talk about on the front page of two newspapers? Uh, a story trumped up by presumably a Labour uh, anonymous editor of Wikipedia. Do you accept that they were linked to an account that was previously used by you? No. Do you accept that you had made changes in the past? Sure. When I was first an MP, uh, I noticed somebody had written on there that, uh, that I had the wrong number of O-levels, that I'd crashed a car into a wall or I was a Jehovah's Witness. And I made some very basic um, changes when I was f first an MP. Uh, you quickly realise with Wikipedia, the best thing is just to completely ignore it. And to be honest, I do. Most of the time it's completely inaccurate. Never mind about that. The idea that uh, whilst out and about, uh, supporting colleagues around the uh, country, physically elsewhere, uh, I could somehow have been editing, would have been very easy to disprove. But instead, the smear machine, which is, I'm afraid, the desperate nature of Ed Miliband, Labour's campaign, means they've gone on the word of a single Wikipedia editor and come up with the story. But this address, Contribue Essex, I think it's called, are you familiar with that? Have no, you not until I'd read it in the newspaper or the newspaper approached us. We told them it's false and defamatory, uh, and yet they still publish the story, even though it absolutely couldn't have possibly been me, because as explained, the diary shows that I was elsewhere during these times. Presumably you've gone to Wikipedia and you've asked to have this address, IP address, shown to you. You, you know what it is that they're talking about, do you? So I'm writing to Wikipedia in the morning. They're a charity, they're based in California. Uh, I don't think that they would want themselves to be sort of caught up in this sort of controversy. On the basis of a single anonymous Wikipedia editor who's no doubt working for the Miliband uh, team and with uh, a, a, a Labour uh, blogger, uh, themselves giving them the story to the Guardian uh, and actually not based on anything more than a load of you know nonsense and they've turned that into a story because they don't want they to talk about the facts. Why would they have suspended the account though? Well I think it's an individual uh, anonymous Wikipedia editor uh, with the power to do that uh, working with the uh, Guardian and uh, a, 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 a political blogger uh, who the Guardian But you don't know with. what the address is, you don't know from Wikipedia yet what the IP address is and yet you're absolutely confident that no member of staff, no PR agency, no assistant, no one you know could have been well, using that. It, it clearly wasn't me because I was elsewhere and it, the fact that is that I would know about it if somebody with my team were involved, certainly nothing to do with uh, anything internal and this is a classic smear. This is The Guardian working with a Labour blogger who I have to tell you has a pretty dubious track record um, himself, who, is, uh, who then gives the story to The uh, Guardian and, and there it is. Not talking about the issues, not talking about the subjects that really matter to people in the last 15 days of this campaign, but instead Ed Miliband trying to smear his way through to the end of this campaign. And did you talk to any of the colleagues that had their entries changed? Uh, no, I haven't as, as yet, but they're so ludicrous on issues that, you know, frankly, I I've never particularly uh, taken uh, hugely strong positions on, that the, the whole thing is clearly a load of nonsense. And did you go to your colleagues, to your assistants, to those who work in your office and say, look, I'm putting my reputation on the line here, I have to be absolutely sure that no one that I know changed this account yeah, or absolutely. used this account? Did look, you do that? Yeah, absolutely. And just to be clear, there and are... And what did they say? They are, all said... Uh, absolutely untrue. There are thousands, literally thousands of edits of mine and frankly every other politician's Wikipedia page. You long get past worrying about it at all. And the idea that they string together a single uh, account and then come up with all the stuff just smacks of a smear. It smacks of desperation. They don't want to talk about the big issues in this campaign. 
what they want to do is smear their way through to the end of the campaign. So let me just understand what you're saying. Do you think somebody in the Labour Party or in the Labour camp used that address then and made it look as if it came from you? When you talk about a smear, what, what do you think they actually did? Well, I don't, did? Know, I don't know if it was that or um, a political blogger working with this particular Guardian, Guardian journalist with a friend who is a um, editor, one of the anonymous editors of Wikipedia, working up a story one way or the other, regardless of all the facts. But you think you were framed by somebody making yeah, the changes? A, I mean, this is somebody who doesn't want to talk about the election, doesn't want to talk about the big issues, probably egged on by the Labour press operation. Uh, putting this into place and it's completely ridiculous we should be talking about the big issues instead uh, this is what a national newspaper is uh, running with today so presumably you're taking legal action if that's what you well, believe I'm certainly writing to Wikipedia because I want to get to the bottom of whether it's right for an anonymous refuser to go on record individual uh, editor of Wikipedia for, for all I know is part of team Miliband uh, or certainly uh, a Labour supporter uh, providing a quote like that on behalf of the whole of Wikipedia uh, and thereby bringing their organisation in a, a difficult um, position. And did you tell The Guardian that you were going to take legal action before well, they published the it? The story's only dropped this evening and um, so I'll be writing tomorrow, tomorrow morning to Wikipedia and I'll be asking... What about The Guardian? I mean, they've published it on their front page, well, people, so have the, they been defamatory? Well, well, clearly the story is false and defamatory. They shouldn't be um, published after they know that it's false and defamatory. As I say, a simple check of the diary shows I'm in a, a number of different places when these edits were supposedly being made. Thousands of people edit the page. Anyone could have made this edit. Edit the idea that that becomes a front page story is completely ludicrous, and it can only be being done in order to divert attention for presumably Team Miliband, because that's where the Guardian come from, uh, in order to divert attention from the big issues in this election campaign. I think that's very wrong, and I think that it's actually you know uh, it brings the whole of sort of politics um, down when they do this sort of thing. And for people uh, who you're saying it brings politics down to, if they're remembering the Michael Green shenanigans and they're saying Grant Shapps has got a fair amount of form on this, what would be your message? Well, look, uh, like many MPs, I uh, wrote, um, wrote books, and like many people, I wrote with a pen name. So what? I registered it with the Members uh, Register of Interest. There really isn't much more to say about it. Instead, what we've got here is a you know, concerted effort, a concerted campaign by a particular Guardian journalist working with a particular uh, blogger who is himself uh, very close to uh, a Wikipedia editor. We know this because he's boasted about it before. And in doing so, I'm afraid they are just ignoring the big issues of the campaign instead of splashing with this sort of thing, rather than talking about the things which really matter in and this election campaign. Look, in 15 days' time, Ed Miliband and the SNP could be in Downing Street, and if they are, there'll be higher taxes, there'll be more spending, there'll be more borrowing, and this nation's defences will be fatally wounded, potentially. Those are the big issues, but instead, what are they running with? Mm -hmm. A story which actually, with minimum amount of checking, actually can't even be true. I won't keep you. Have you spoken to the Prime Minister about this and do you have his full backing on this? Well, I haven't done, but you know what? These stories that clearly directed from Labour HQ, Ed Miller So you haven't spoken to David Cameron it. this evening? But not this evening, no. Uh, so you don't know if he's backing you on this? You haven't I'm absolutely confident. You know what? Um, what we want to talk about are the big issues in the campaign. Not Labour smears, not Ed Miliband running these, uh, allowing these stories, these kind of stories to run, uh, and not allowing their friends in the, in the media uh, to work with bloggers who work right on the edge of things uh, to try to um, smear people. That is what's going on here, when in fact you only have to look at the dates and times to, to realise it can't have been me, uh, and on the basis of a single anonymous Wikipedia editor bringing Wikipedia itself uh, into, uh, into focus here. Grant Chaps, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.